scholarship, colleges, and more on today's news. Just Ivan in the background. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, hot dogs. I'm Thomas. And I'm Yasmin. For today's lunch, lines one and two, cheeseburgers, line three, closed, line four, quesadilla and chicken strips, line five, stuffed crust pizza. <clears throat> a happy birthday goes out to Luis Lopez. Also, a happy birthday goes to Mr. Thompson. Today, Papa John's will be donating 20% of their day's proceeds to Riley Hospital, so don't forget to stop by and buy a pizza or two. A friendly reminder that you can get your chocolate chip, sugar, or M&M cookies outside of room 133 for only a dollar. Today's specialty cookie is Snickerdoodle. If you're still interested in a sad officer position, pick up an application outside of room 131. Please return them by Friday. Now to, now to sports with Israel. Thanks, guys. The Lady Hot Dogs traveled to Crawfordsville and won the conference play at 5 2. The first goal happened fast. The Elise scored her goal in the first two minutes, making, her, making the score 3 0 in the 12 minutes to play in the first half. The Lady's Hot Dogs finished with the, score, with the scoring that night with about five minutes left in the, in the game when they scored her first goal in, in the night. The win makes the hot, Lady Hot Dogs record one to nothing. Next up is the Lady's Hot Dog invite on Saturday with their first game at 9 a.m. against Rival County, Rossville. The JV action and Lady Hot Dogs Earned their first win of the season as well, winning 2 to nothing with goals by Jasmine Lagori and Mia Hernandez. With last night's game, Junior Liz moved her season total to five goals. And more importantly, she moved out to the Lady Hot Dog career of goals list. With her five on the young season and goals from her freshman and sophomore seasons, she moved on the four-way tie with fifth place of all time. One of the people she is tied with is senior teammate Marielle Anise, who moved on into the same slot with her in the two goal in the season opener. Congratulations, Liz. The boys tennis team got defeated by McCutcheon 5 0 and their next match is at home Tuesday, September 3rd, versus Western Broom at 5. The girls' golf team traveled to Kool, to Kool Lake and played Western Broom and Sophomore. The girls saw, shot a 196 as a team. St. Nassisa shot a 42, Emily Shipley finished with a 44, Carly Bessler shot a personal best of 50, Riley Mitchell and Sam Sharp both finished with a 60, and Tori Hopkins shot a 66. That's it for sports, now back to your host. <coughs> Good morning, hot dogs. Today will be mostly sunny with showers coming through later after midnight. Today we will have a high of 80 and a low of 65 with precipitation at 24%. Tomorrow morning, will be around 65 degrees. It won't be as cold as today or yesterday. That's it for today's weather. I'm Thomas, now back to the studio. On other news, to all DACA students, there is a new scholarship available to you. The Golden Door Scholarship is taking all DACA student applications and will be due on September 16th. Remember, the Humane Society is forming a junior board of directors. Get your application today and turn it into Ms. McGeary. Juniors, don't forget to sign up for the PSAT with your community teacher by September 6th. The PSAT will be held October 30th. This is a free and helpful tool to prepare you for the actual SAT. Juniors, just a seniors, just a reminder that you have to receive, if you want to receive a $1,000 scholarship for just modeling, check your email about Louis Tuck Shop model search beginning this September. College reps are still coming to FHS. Some of the colleges include IU Bloomington, IUPUI, Franklin, University of Indianapolis, and Purdue. Stop by the office to sign up for the meetings. <coughs> That's all for today's news report. Remember to like our like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also hit the notification bell for updates of our breakfast. It's almost Friday, hot dogs. Have a good day, Daniel. <laughs>